Hello guys, today we learn how to speed up your PC or laptop using SSD in place of SSD. Solid state drive SSD and SSD hard, hard disk drives. Now first we require SSD so you need to purchase SSD. Uh, here we purchase WD Green SATA SSD for PC also you can use in your laptops so WD green 240 GB SATA hard disk you can see a screen WD green SATA SSD solid state drive from the WD and here you can size like 240 GB here you can see one thing and other is other connectors uh, and you can see there is two types of SATA SSD one is uh, 2.5 inch it can be used in uh, any PC or laptops and if you have a like uh, in laptops or PC M.2 slot so you can use this, this smaller ones and this uh, hard disk you can purchase from the Amazon's link also is given in uh, the descriptions now let us see overview of WD green SATA SSD now click this one now you can see here Western digital product overview here you can see WD green SATA SSD and there is some features like improved performance for everyday computing and enhance your system with W green SATA solid state drive help improve the performance of your laptop or desktop computer for daily computing needs. SSC single level cell caching technology help boost write performance to browse the web, play your favorite casual games, or simply start up your system in a flash. And solid state reliability and it is a uh, very lightweight and SOC resistant to help your data protect protect it from the loss if there is accidental bumper dock to our systems and other is features like less power more play and easy upgrade your PC WD Green SART SSD are available in 2.5 inch case model and other is M.2 2 to 8 version to world newer and smaller computers with form factors to accommodate most laptop and desktop PC and free western digital SSD dashboard you can check whether how many available or free SSD dashboard help you tag thing like this model firmware version smart attributes and simply find out how much space you have left on your SATA SSD and for the green SATA you have three year limited warranty and their specification like uh, it different GB have different models like you can see 120 GB 240 GB 480 GB 1 TB and 2 TB available in this model one is like case model and another M.2 model so M.2 model available like three variant and case model available like 122 TB. So according to you, your requirement, you can purchase either 120, either 240 GB, either 480 GB. So these are the uh, like product brief of SATA SSD, which from the uh, Western Digitals. Also, you can buy any other SATA SSD which are available from your local vendors or uh, from websites, uh, whatever you have feasible. Now, now comes to your point how to install the SSD in your PC or laptops. So, you have required one thing, your SATA SSD and there is two cables like you can see the two cables in bottom like one is SATA cable connector for motherboard and SSD and another is power cable connector to connect power supply to SSD let us see how can we install 
the SATA SSD in your PC. Our first step is use SATA cable and attach one end of cable to the SATA connector on your motherboard and attach the other end of the SATA cable to your SSD, Western Digital SSD or any brands you have. And you can see the SATA SSD which can be connect one in each motherboard and other in each your SSD. And second step is then use available SATA power cable coming from your system power supply and connect to the cable to your SSD, Western Digital SSD or any brand you have SSD. And already you have like SSD hard disk in your system then first you remove the other hard disk which you have with your systems. After connecting your SSD to motherboard and power supply, your system will ready now. Now you need to install fresh window 10. So here you can see the uh, like power SATA cable supply which this portion will connect to the your hard disk and this portion connect to the your power supply extension already you have direct power supply so you can directly use it uh, otherwise you can use this extension to your power supply and third is also you need to after installation of hard disk to connect to your motherboard and power supply need to install window 10 so make sure you have installed the fresh windows 10 so for this you have required window 10 installation media which may have you already created in usb pen drives and insert it and set the board priority through the bios systems like usb usb that is the first priority and then f12 and save it through the bios system and restart the system Windows 10 installation will be started and follow the instructions and click the next button. It will take some time to install the Windows 10 and after some time Windows 10 will be installed successfully. So we will see your system PC will be faster 10x than your older PCs. Thanks for watching my YouTube videos. If you want to more videos please subscribe my youtube channel